there's the seven mile bridge. So I am gonna walk you through it and then Patrick's actually gonna do it. Um, there's the <laughs> Oakley's extra deep or something like that. Extra it's like, deep. It's like extra, I don't extra know, I bought it. Okay, so here we are starting our passage to Moon Key and we are getting ready to put up the sails. So whenever we do that, we try to get everything together, right? So we're measuring the wind, which is something I cannot show you to figure out what we can expect the heading to be according to where we need to go and what kind of tack the winds are gonna go up. So I am gonna walk you through it and then Patrick's actually gonna do it. So first things first, Oliver's tethered in. We definitely don't want him to try and follow us back and forth and moving the sails and everything. So we make sure that all of these covers, we have covers for them. So we make sure that all the covers are off, completely off. So they're easy access to whatever adjustments we need to do to the sail. We also remove any anything that we have to, to make sure that the main sail is free. The jib is the one up front, the blue one, and that one is gonna go up last, if, depending what the winds are doing. So the winches over there are also uncovered and ready to go. We have the main sail here tied up. And we got Patrick at the wheel and that's gonna change. So we're gonna switch and he usually gives me a little bit of briefing telling me this is the heading I'm trying to go to and we have it all pre-mapped here in our screen in avionics and of course we have our compass. So now what? We're now checking the wind vane so I can point us into the wind so I can pull up the main. Now that we're going straight into the wind, me and Madeline will swap, and then she'll hold this heading right at about 60, and then I'll go raise the main. Let's try and catch wind and see if this moves. So right now we're going about two knots and we're pretty much on idle. So we like going about five knots. So we make good timing and we arrive during the day at this time. So we're going up to 2.9, but we need a little bit, yeah, we need a little bit more wind. So I'm going to keep turning until I catch it and then you see that it kind of just lifts a little. And we adjust. So by catching just by itself, we're 3.9, 4 knots. and see if it maintains it and if it maintains it we'll okay. shut the engine off. Okay, so I'm gonna turn down the weight. So I'm gonna switch to neutral. 
switch into neutral and let's see what it does. We're at 3.6, almost four knots. We're gonna open the jib then. Okay. So, after setting up the jib, we unhook it from the cleat. We are expecting it to be a starboard tack. Sorry, a port tack, which means that the wind is gonna come from the port. And this one is not locked. And this one's the one Patrick's pulling all the way to the jib. That's why he's tethered, because we can't have him in the center of everything, so. We are 4.2. Let me turn where we need to go and see more. We're Yeah, go ahead and hold it there because we're over five knots, 5.1, 5 5.1. 5 so we'll turn it and play with it. So this is anywhere where the wind blows, that's what you do. <laughs> so now we trim, pick up all the lines, and make sure that we're not gonna trip on anything. That's it. You pull up the sail. This one was a pretty simple one. But it's usually we follow the same pattern. Sometimes we don't take out the jib, sometimes we start leaning and twisting over too much. We need to trim the jib up. Yeah, please. Now what you don't know is that I'm actually using my sunglasses to look through it. Madeline bought me these sunglasses for the day after Thanksgiving Day sale. And as you can tell right there just from the video, the impact that it makes is being able to see through the water. Yeah, they're, um, they're the Oakley's extra deep or something. Extra it's like, it's like extra, I don't know, I bought So yeah, so when you're looking through them, I mean, yeah, the water still looks amazing, but then when you look at them through here, it's like, wow. You could pretty much see straight to the bottom. So, yeah. It takes all the glare out of it. And uh, it just, you see right through the water. It's like, wow. So, now, the water already looks beautiful as it is. Maybe. I am holding. 
cold, 95 degrees, my dear. Wind's changing around on us a little bit today. We're supposed to be headed over that way, but we're headed that way because that's the way the wind and the current's going right now. So yeah, it's interesting. We're uh, getting our workout, getting our core workout by doing this constantly. So <laughs> But it's good, it's all good, it's fun. We were just talking, um, we were just talking about it. And actually, I'm gonna let Madeline tell you about that. Yeah, so every time you go out, um, you encounter different, different things that happen, different situations. So they all slowly raise your level. Sometimes if you go from zero to 100, it's too much and you're gonna give up on it. It's gonna be too much. So the best thing is to continue going out on sales, continue going out on sales, and the different situations are the different situations are gonna happen, and that's gonna make you a better sailor. You can't. I know, and that's easier said than done because when you are out in the ocean, logically you think, of course, I'm not gonna be perfect from the beginning, but you really don't understand what kind of situations can happen. And um, even little wakes like these would freak us out before. Tell them what happened with the jib sheet and the diesel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So when we were uh, doing our tack, the the jib, we were moving the jib, and then a bungee cord snap that's holding our jerry cans, and it caught the jib line perfect and it wouldn't go all the way through so almost threw the jerry can overboard <laughs> and we're in the middle of attack so i was at the helm so i had to take care of everything and patrick in this madness and constant bobbing had to go up there and at least unhook the bungee cord so he can run back here and then control the jib and then he went back and thank god we didn't lose the jerry can um because full of diesel so so yeah um, it, it was so much to deal with you really don't know what kind of emergency is gonna happen so if that has to be the one for today that's it for today I don't want anymore you think of all this nonsense buddy take care less i woke him up <laughs> what, what are you, what? Just what? Try, just try that's to, what you do to me <laughs> windy today uh, we got about anywhere from 15 to 18 knots blowing through here and uh, we get some protection from the island over here we get a little bit of protection from the actual key itself here but for the most part you know the rest of it's still open so we just have our anchor alarm set we got about uh, we got a good 10 to 1 scope and we should be pretty good these are our friends over here Right over there. That's our friends Andy and Candace from Bullseye. So we've uh, we actually been talking to them for well, a really a long time now, and we've hung out a few times in person, but never actually had our boats in the same place. So it was nice to it was nice to actually have our boats in the same place and hang out. So we're gonna do um, we're just gonna hang out here, and we've been kind of chit chatting on the phone, keeping our social distancing good, and yeah, that's it. So we're just gonna kind of chill here for the day, wait this blowout, and then um, we're gonna keep on with our trip. Now our next stop is um, Channel 5, which is Long Key, before we hit Rodriguez Key. And then we got a long hop up to uh, 
Oh, actually out of the keys after that. So it's gonna be a sad day when we actually leave the keys because we look so forward to being here. But it is what it is. Can't help the pandemic. On to our next adventure. Thank you for watching this week's video. I really hope you're still enjoying everything. Keep the comments and questions coming. We'll try to answer them as fast as we're getting them. Um, if you haven't done so, subscribe on YouTube and also make sure that you follow us. And if you really like us, consider becoming a Patreon. The link will be right below. Otherwise, see you next week. Bye.